What's up, what's up everybody? So in this live, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to find a product to sell on Amazon, okay? Now for everyone in this live, I don't know how long you may have been following me, but um, I sell on Amazon in a very different way than most people, all right? So uh, I'm gonna just ask you guys a question just to start off, all right? Let's say, when are you gonna give me some game like at Starbucks? Hey bro, I got you bro, just hit me up. Um, but listen, guys, I want to ask you guys a question. Let me know. Comment yes down below if you've ever heard of someone say that you can sell products from Alibaba or AliExpress, like you can buy them and then sell them on Amazon. Comment yes if you've ever heard someone tell you that or if you've ever seen someone on social media talk about that method, right? Buying products from China and then selling them on Amazon. Let me know down below. Just comment yes if you've ever heard of someone talk about that specific method. I need the game to buy my first building. Hey, bro, you can do it. Anyone can do it. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of yeses. Seeing a lot of yeses. Cool. So, oh, damn, it got bright. It got bright. Hold up. Let me adjust the brightness real quick. So, um, if you've ever heard of that, guys, that's what's called Amazon private label, right? So it's basically when people buy products from overseas, they put their logo on them and then they try to sell them on Amazon. Now, this is what 90% of Amazon sellers are doing, okay? 90%. And remember, guys, make sure to take notes because I'm about to give you some game. This is what 90% of Amazon sellers are doing. Me personally, I do not do that. And I'll give you a couple reasons why. Number one, it's super competitive. Number two, you're dealing with overseas suppliers. And number three, when you sell something from China on Amazon, a generic product with your logo on it, with your brand on it, you're gonna be on like page 500 of Amazon. You're not gonna be on page one, right? So you actually already have to be a good marketer to be able to use that method on Amazon because you're gonna be on a very, very like, La you're going to be on like the last page of Amazon. You're not going to be on the first page. So it's going to be hard for people to find the product that you're selling. So you're going to have to somewhat already be good at advertising. All right. Now, me personally, what I do is I buy, I open up wholesale accounts with big name brands. All right. I'm talking name brands like Clorox, Lysol, Fiji, Logitech, etc. Products that you probably have sitting around in your house or apartment, wherever you live, right? You have them sitting around in, in your house right now, okay? And the reason why I love this method is because I'm selling products from brands that people already know, that people already love, that already have millions of customers, and these products are already on page number one of Amazon. Because the way Amazon works is if you're a seller of a Clorox item and I'm a seller of the same Clorox item, there's not two listings, there's only one. And we both share the sales on that one listing that's on the first page of Amazon, all right? And I'm about to show you guys what you need to do to start making money on Amazon and opening up these wholesale accounts with these big name brands, all right? So if you guys are excited for the game, I want you guys to comment yes down below. I want you to engage during this live training because the more you engage, the more you're gonna retain the information, all right? And this information changed my life so I know for a fact that it can change your life as long as you implement everything I'm about to teach you, all right? And this does not require you to have a lot of money, okay, guys? Like, I did not start with a lot of money. Uh, my mom, I literally, I grew up with my mom and two little brothers. My mom lived paycheck to paycheck for every single year up until I graduated from high school. And then I was really on my own. Um, this business, you can start with, like, let's say, you can really start with this right here, $400. This is what I started with, okay? I had $400 to my name when I started selling products online, okay? I used to work at an Amazon warehouse getting paid $11 an hour. I didn't even have a car, so half of my checks would go into Uber. And I was able to start with this amount of money right here, all right? So if you have $400 or you have a job and you can save up to this amount, then you're good to go, all right? So this is what you need to do. Make sure you're taking notes, all right? So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to a website called wholesalecentral.com, all right? So this is what Wholesale Central looks like. This is a, a directory of suppliers, all right? And most of the suppliers on here are from the US, okay? So they're not overseas. 
and we don't even want to deal with overseas suppliers anyways because overseas suppliers sell um generic products we only want to deal with name brand products so for example look at this supplier right here you can see that they sell gillette uh dove 3m uh this uh makeup brand these are name brand products that you can find inside of a target that you can find inside of a kroger or walmart etc these are big brand names right so we want to deal with these types of suppliers that have access to these types of products okay and you can see it already says Amazon FBA. So this is a supplier that we want to mess with. So I'm going to go to visit website. And you can see if I go to products, you can see that these are the types of products, guys, that we want to sell on Amazon. Like the, like this whey protein brand is a popular brand. This dial soap is a popular soap. Like these are the types of products that are going to be on page number one of Amazon. Okay. Okay. And how we find out exactly how well these products are doing is very, very simple. Okay, so for example, this product right here, it's six, it's called Six Star Whey Protein Plus, right? So all I have to do is I can go to Amazon.com and I'm going to type in Six Star Whey Protein because that's what the product is that this supplier has, right? Six Star Whey Protein. So you can see. It's the same exact product that this supplier has right here, okay? So it's actually the vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna click on the vanilla one, boom. And by pulling up this product, I can use this Chrome extension. It's called Amazon Scout. You guys can download it, it's free to use. Um, I can use this Chrome extension. All I have to do is click it. And you can see that it's gonna pull up the product and show me how much money a month this product is doing on Amazon. So you can see that this is the product that we pulled up, whey protein powder by Six Star. And we can see that it's selling for $39 on Amazon. After you, this is the what Amazon is gonna charge you to sell this product. So your FBA fees, which stands fulfillment by Amazon, is gonna be around $12. Which, if we click on the calculator button, so where's that button at? Uh Actually, first, let me show you guys what this product is doing a month. So you can see that this is the price that Amazon's selling it for. This is what the FBA fees would be. And the estimated revenue on this product, on this product right here, is only about $800 a month. So this is actually a product that we probably wouldn't want to look into because there's really not enough money here to be made. But now let's look at this, guys. These are all the other proteins that are selling on Amazon. So if we look at this one right here, Scratch Labs, we can see that this product right here sells for $17. Fees, fees would be around $8. And this product is doing $106,000 a month on Amazon, guys. $106,000 a month on Amazon. So now what we can do is we can actually click on this product and it'll take us directly to the listing so you can see this is a company called scratch labs they're doing very well on amazon and now that i know that this product is doing well on amazon what i want to do is i want to go to scratch labs website and i want to find out if they allow us to buy their products at wholesale prices so you can see i just looked up scratch labs on google and boom it's right here so scratch labs and I'm simply just going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. And usually they have some information here. And look at this, guys. Become a retailer. We are, when you sell products online, you are known as an online retailer. So, boom, look. Become a retailer. I'm going to click on that. And look at this, guys. Apply for a wholesale account below. Come on. Like, I, I can't make this up, guys. Like, this... This is what I've done to make hundreds of thousands of dollars online and help thousands of people do the same thing. So, boom, you would literally just fill out this wholesale application and look at this. I'm not even going to scroll all the way down, but I've done this so long that I know for a fact they're going to ask you for an LLC and they're going to ask you for a reseller's permit. These are two things that are very, very easy to get, guys. You can go to LegalZoom.com and get both of these things. So let's find out if I was right. All right. So let me scroll down. I might be wrong. They might not even ask for it, but let's see. Usually 
they asked for those two things. So if you scroll down, boom. Okay, yep. Look at this, guys. So this right here would basically be like your EIN number. And then your resale license is your reseller's permit number. So then you would put that in right there. And then you would just submit this. And then you would just wait to hear back from Scratch Labs. All right. Now, guys, that is just one example, right? There's millions of products on Amazon that you can sell. There are millions of brands out there that you can open up wholesale accounts with. This is really something that does not ever become saturated because there are always going to be more buyers than sellers. OK, and I'm going to say that again because that goes over a lot of people's heads. There are always going to be more buyers than sellers. We live in a consumer based society. There are never going to be more sellers than there are buyers. Right. And people are always going to buy products on Amazon. It's just that simple, okay? Now, this is just one way to open up wholesale accounts. There are many, many ways. Um, and if you wanna learn step-by-step -step how to do this, I'm hosting a free workshop this Sunday on December 11th. I think that's the date. Um, now, the only catch to this free workshop is we're only allowed to have 2,000 people. Like the software that we use only allows us to have 2,000 people in the room. So like if you're watching this right now, you have at least $400 to your name. Um, you want to start a side hustle that you can do from home and you're interested in learning how to make money online, like a legitimate way to make money online where you don't have to sell products from overseas and you're selling products from, from brands that you probably already buy, from brands that are probably already in your, like, in your kitchen, right? So if you want to learn that, again, the link is down here or you can just click on my profile somewhere up here and click the link in my bio. It's the same link. It's completely free to sign up. After you register, it's going to ask you if you want to purchase a mini course that I have that's $27, just so you can have some background information before Sunday's workshop. But that's completely optional. You can say no, you can say yes, doesn't matter. Regardless, you will be registered for Sunday's training, which is completely free. So again, guys, I just wanted to get on here, give you some quick game. Um, if you if you like this information, you're definitely going to love Sunday's free training. Uh, shout out to my boy D Porter 44. So uh, he's actually someone that attended one of my free trainings like a couple months ago and he went crazy with the information. So, hey, Derek, let let everyone know in this live how much money you've made using the exact method that I just showed them. I was showing them how they can buy name brand. I don't know when you joined the live, but I was showing them how you can buy name brand products and then sell them on Amazon. Uh, it'd be dope if you let everyone know how much money you actually made doing this. I may have other students in this live too. I don't know. But it, hey, if you're one of my students or if you've ever attended any one of my free trainings, let us know down below how much money you've made. I don't know if I have any students in here other than Derek. But uh, yeah, y'all need to go crazy with this information. Um, if you're living an average lifestyle or a below average lifestyle, I, I hate to say it, but um, you know that's your choice. Being broke is a choice, especially if you live in America, because there's so many opportunities out here that you guys can tap into. Right. And the only difference between where you're at right now and the millionaire version of yourself is the gap of info information. Right. The only difference between me and you is the, the gap of information. And I'm trying to bridge that gap on Sunday and teach you everything that I know. So, um, you know, I have nothing to hide. Um, com being completely transparent with you guys. This is not easy, but uh, being broke is actually harder than what I'm about to teach you, right? You know, not being able to pay your bills on time or even, you know, being able to pay your bills on time but not actually being able to spend the time that you have that's limited in this world with the people that you love, that's actually harder than doing this business. So again, the link is down here or you can go to the link in my bio. I appreciate you guys for being on this live. And hopefully I'll see you on Sunday, right? So hopefully I'll see you on Sunday where I'm going to be breaking down everything step by step, how to open up a wholesale account with big name brands, multiple methods, um, how to know what to sell and how to know exactly what the profit is going to be. Because obviously, you know, sales doesn't really mean anything. We're worried about profit, you know, the money that you actually keep in your account. So I'm going to be breaking down how to like know the exact profit before you buy anything. And I'm also going to be going over the first product that I ever sold to make my first 100K online profit when I was only 19 years old. OK, guys. So, again, I appreciate you for being on this live 
and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.